Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all around the world, from the sunny Caribbean, you're watching What You Need. This time I want to deal with a set of boxers in a certain period of time, and a lot of them were world champions. Let's start off with Lloyd Hunnigan. Now, Lloyd Hunnigan, who basically was a welterweight, and Lloyd Hunnigan beat Donald Curry to become the undisputed welterweight champion of the world. This was in 1986. And after Donald Quarry was beaten by him, he moved up to super welterweight. And Lloyd Hunnigan, he was able to face guys like Johnny Bumpus, uh, Maurice Blocker, Gene Hatcher, Jorge Vaca, and um, Marlon Sterling, Mark Breland. These are all people who were contemporaries in his time at welterweight and then moved up to super welterweight and fought a number of other fighters. And we'll look at some of these guys. He was able to successfully defend his titles five times. And uh, we're going to look at Maurice Blocker, who was also in his era. Maurice Blocker, he had won the welterweight championship a couple times himself. He had defeated guys like Saul Mambe. He won the WBC World Welterweight title from Marlon Sterling. And we'll talk about Marlon Sterling in a bit. And then he lost it to Simon Brown. He regained the IBF version of the title against Glenwood Brown. And then he fought Luis Garcia. He beat him. So he had been a world champion twice, two times a uh, welterweight world champion. Then he moved up to super welterweight and lost to Terry Norris. He also faced Felix Trinidad, by the way. We just talked about Maurice Blocker, and he faced Marlon Sterling. Marlon Sterling also was a welterweight champion, and for a good period of time. He beat Mark Breland, who we will go into in a minute, to attain the WBA world welterweight title. He rematched Mark Breland to a draw. And basically successfully defended his world title, even beating Lloyd Hunnigan. Uh, he was the guy that uh, beat Lloyd Hunnigan when he was not world champion. That was a little later on in his career. And he also faced notable names like Michael Nunn. He also faced Maurice Blocker, who we mentioned a couple of minutes ago, who defeated him. Marlon Sterling, as I said before, he beat a guy called Mark Breland. Uh, Mark Breland himself also was a world champion for a period of time. He had the vacant WBA World Welterweight title. He beat Harold Volbrecht. And from that, he went into his first defense against Marlon Sterling, lost to him. Uh, he rematched Marlon Sterling, but he could only fight to a draw. He went on to fight for that vacant WBA title against Sun Tzu Lee. And this was in 1989. He was able to beat Sun Tzu Lee, knock him out in the first round. He fought Rafael Pineda and a number of other people. He also defeated Lloyd Hunnigan before losing the title to Aaron Davis in 1990. He had defended his world title successfully four times. Now, I spoke about Johnny Bumpus. Johnny Bumpus had faced Lloyd Hunnigan, and Lloyd Hunnigan beat Johnny Bumpus back in 1987. He beat uh, Lorenzo Luis Garcia to become super lightweight champion after he was beaten by Gene Hatcher somebody that Lloyd Hunnigan had beaten. He moved up to welterweight and then he fought a number of welterweight fights working his way up, won the USBA welterweight title and then he faced Lloyd Hunnigan and he lost to him getting knocked out in the second round. Now Gene Hatcher, he had beaten Johnny Bumpus. He beat Johnny Bumpus and then he defended his super lightweight title after that once successfully and then he lost to a guy called Obaldo Ernesto Sacco. This was in 1985. He would move up to welterweight, fighting at some catchweights at welterweight, and come back down. He faced guys like Frankie Warren. He lost to Lloyd Hunnigan at welterweight. And a number of other opponents like Aaron Davis and Anthony Williams. But he had been a super lightweight champion. Now, I also mentioned Jorge Vaca. Now, I mentioned Jorge Vaca, who actually beat Lloyd Hunnigan. And um, he beat him to become the welterweight champion of the world for a brief moment in time before Lloyd Hunnigan rematched him and knocked him out. He was not able to defeat another gentleman named Simon Brown when he tried to vie for the IBF World Welterweight title. So we're going to look at Simon Brown for a minute. And Simon Brown, like Lloyd Hunnigan, was from Jamaica. He was a welterweight champion for a pretty long time as well. He had won the vacant IBF World Welterweight title from Tyron Trice. He beat Jorge Vaca, and then after that, he had some successful defenses of his title, beating also Maurice Blocker, 
to unify the WBC and IBF world titles. But he lost his WBC World Welterweight title to James Buddy McGirt in 1991. He had eight successful defenses of his welterweight title, including one unification. He also faced Terry Norris, and he was able to knock out Terry Norris in the fourth round to win the WBC Super Welterweight title. And he went on to defend it successfully once before losing to Terry Norris in 1994. He also faced Bernard Hopkins and David Reed. Very successful boxer in that period of time. Now here, if you look at the welterweight division, this is in 1986. We see a grouping or a community of these fighters. It kind of puts things into perspective. Lloyd Huntington at the time in 86 was the lineal champion having defeated Donald Curry. Mark Breland was there, Maurice Blocker, Johnny Bumpus, Marlon Sterling, Tommy Ayers, who I didn't mention, Simon Brown, Gene Hatcher. Some of them were world champions before, some of them became world champions after this period of time. What the welterweight division looked like around the times of 84 all the way up to the 1990s. Actually recapping these boxers that you may not have known about and putting them in a context. A lot of times people talk about Donald Curry because he was the undisputed welterweight champion of the world and then he moved up to super welterweight and did some phenomenal things as well. And we hear about all these other big names, you know, Donald Curry, Mike McCollum, uh, John Mugabe. But during that period of time, we had a number of exceptional fighters besides these guys. So I decided to shine some light on them. You guys have a great one.